Okay, welcome back. Today we're going to be tying a mop fly. The reason I'm going to show you a mop fly is because assuredly somebody had just got a fly rod getting ready for opening day. How excited about using it and not sure what fly is going to be the most effective. They searched the internet, seen the Facebook pages, everybody talked about his and her favorite flies. I'm going to show you something that's going to be effective, something that's going to catch you some fish and bring you back for more in the future. The hook I have in the vise is a Sabre number 10. It's a shrimp cat ass pupa. The hook that you can use is any hook you have laying around. When I first started tying these, I actually used these Eagle Claws. Uh, laser uh, sharp needle point, just utility hooks that I had laying around. Actually pretty good profile for mops. You can use a long shank, short shank, any shank you want. Tie the mop onto it, toss it in the water, you'll catch fish. What I want to use for thread, I'm going to use black Danville 140. And I primarily choose the thread for its color color that I want the head to be. Start it on, wrap it a couple of times back, cut away the tag end. We're going to make this a crane fly mop. The reason I'm making it a crane fly is because it makes me feel better about myself making it an actual fly pattern, but you can tie mop to hook and catch fish. So, take a chain bead eye, lay it right on top, wrap it around about five times, one direction, reverse, everything straightened out, go up and under, alright, everything's pretty secure. Bring your thread back just a little bit. Now we're going to grab a mop. Like I said, you can skip the eyes if you want. Grab a mop from the old mop factory here. A car wash mitt. Best place to get mops. I got uh, several of these mitts. I got orange, black, white, and a couple of different greens. The uh, be creative. Put your uh, put a few different colors in your box. You never know what's going to be the hot one that that day. So that kind of way, we're going to make the length about the size that we want. You can actually go real short if you want to make it a little bit of a just a little pellet for them to feed on, or you can make it a crane fly length. The easiest way to do that is you have a sealed end. You have an end you just cut away. From the end you just cut away, peel back all the layers of fluff to expose some thread. Once you have that exposed, take that thread, lay it right in between the eyes, right on top. A couple wraps. Trim away the excess if you want you could take time to wrap it in but I'm just going to don't really want to build up too much bulk here so take a couple trimmings out of it alright should be good enough now you can go wrap that in there wrap it over a couple times Oops. Don't fray your thread too much like I just did. Go back the other way. Alright. Got her all tied in. Now we're going to add some black ice dubbing. The reason I chose black thread is so I can match the black dubbing. If I would have put in pink, I would have used pink thread. 
Take a little bit of your ice dub. Secret to ice dub is just a little bit at a time. You don't need a big clump on there. Put a little more on there. We go between the eyes this time. And tie it off. Take your foot finish tool. If you want, if you never whip finish before, you can actually just take your fingers, do a couple half hitches on it, tie it off that way. Nice and easy. You're going to put a little bit of a uh, Glue of your choice on there. Super glue works good. <clears throat> Sally Hansen's is pretty popular. And so all this is uh, clear fingernail polish. And there you go. <clears throat> you have a mop fly. Imitating a crane fly, ready for opening day. All right, hope you like this fly. Hope you're able to tie one up here in the next week so you can get your uh, brand new fly rod all broken in with a couple nice big brown trout. If you like these videos, please give me a like and subscribe, and follow along as I uh, put a few more out. All right, thanks. Stay safe out there and get ready for opening day. We'll see you out in the waters.